Hi everyone, I hope I'm clearly audible and visible to you all. Hello. Hi everyone, I hope I'm clearly audible and visible to you all. Am I audible, visible? Yes, I think I'm perfectly audible and visible guys. Please let me know in the chat section all of you. Do let me know in the chat section all of you because today's session is going to be very interesting. We are going to talk about the basics of DNA and there is one surprise for all of you. Right, there is one surprise for all of you. Today there will be a guest work as well. So let me know everyone, let me know. Let me know in the chat section, am I audible and visible to you all and please share the session with your friends as well. This is a kind of, you know, live demo of your Avengers batch. This is how we are going to teach in your batch. So all the basics that you people need to clear your topics. So basics we are going to teach you here on YouTube. Okay. So how are you everyone? How are you? And I think, so you get your result, you got your result today, isn't it? You got your result today and today here I want to appreciate Priya Paul, Priya Paul right in uh, yesterday's class I asked for the homework and she is the one, she is the one right, she is the one who mentioned the homework in the comment section. Thank you so much Priya, I am really grateful Bache, you are quite serious for your paper, thank you so much, thank you, thank you so much. So, do share that, do share the link with your friends as well because today we are going to master DNA, the basics of DNA we are going to discuss today and kids let me tell you, let me tell you something more important right that your Avenger batch seats are filling right seats are filling and for first 600 seats you people are going to get extra 20% discount. So it's a request, be the part of Avengers batch as soon as possible because that batch is going to be very amazing. You can see here, right, you can just check out the description box. Here you have the batch link. You just need to click that link, bache. You just need to add your uh, phone number or the email and Avenger code is already applied and you will get this batch in 7999. And many students are asking me, many students are asking me, ma'am, this fees is for one month. No, it is for a year. Right, it is for the entire year. What do you people are saying? This amount is for the year, for the complete year. Okay, so excited now? Tell me in the chat section. And guys, in this batch, the mock test, right? There is not only one mock test, there are many mock tests, and we are adding questions in that mock test. We are actually preparing the flow, the content. Right, we know what you, what do you want for your NEET exam and we are going to deliver that only. So, be the part of this batch as soon as possible, okay. So, now come to the topic. So, today we are going to talk about the DNA. So, it is not like that, that it is going to be a very basic session where uh, you will get to know oh, DNA is helically coiled, this and that. No, no, no. Today, mainly we will be discussing about the nitrogenous basis, okay. We are going to talk about that bonding. We are going to talk about the nucleosides, the nucleotides because many times, many times I have faced this, students they do not know that, they are not aware of it, okay, they are not aware of it. So today this is what we are going to target, okay. So tell me in the chat section, are you people excited, excited, excited? Pooja, that we, we will tell you, as of now let's focus here, okay. And what happened to your energy, tell me, what happened to your energy, why? Less number of students are there. Just share the video link with your friends and hit the like button. Bache. So many students are there and number of likes are very less. So hit the like button right now. Quick, hit the like button right now and do hit the subscribe button as well because this channel is going to be one of the best channels for the need preparation. Mark my words. Mark my words. Okay. So can we start, can we start, can we start the basics we are going to discuss the nitrogenous base, the bonding, the nucleoside, nucleotide after that HSP sir will come, he is going to teach you the basics of chemistry also. Okay, so guys I want to see that energy. So today Priya Paul, are you absent there? Huh, today ma'am is appreciating a student, student is not there in the class, very bad. That's bad, you need to be regular. 
and all of you just hit the like button so see the topic is very simple obviously it is dna right you know about the dna isn't it you all know about the dna isn't it first of all do let me know in the chat section what is the full form of dna you must be thinking ma'am that such an easy topic it is hana you are asking the full form of dna but many students they don't know that so let me do let me know in the chat section what is the full form of dna see dna is your d oxy ribo nucleic acid right dna is what dna is the d oxy ribo nucleic acid as i said i'm going to teach you from the basics so please listen to me very carefully students dna is basically the genetic material you know that the genetic material is very important like in the last class we were talking about in the last class what were we discussing in the last class what were we discussing we were talking about the cell so in that cell i have mentioned that that it is the dna which is something very important because dna is the one which is having information for making all the protein for the enzymes as well isn't it for the enzymes as well let's talk about the central dogma here here we have the dna dna is going to form the mrna mrna is going to form the protein right mrna is going to form the protein so dna to mrna it is transcription dna to mrna transcription mrna to protein there will be translation kids there will be translation this is the flow of information so it is a just like a storehouse having all the information to run the cell so we should know about its structure right we should know about its structure so now i'm going to relate this dna this flow of information with the rna word okay i'm going to relate it with the rna word do you know what is rna word anyone in the class do you people know what is rna word anyone in the class yes students do let me know what is rna word and if you find this topic difficult so i think i think you should definitely watch this session because here i'm going to make it very easy for all of you with the help of tricks okay with the help of tricks i'm going to make it very easy for you done done so please focus here and tell me what is rna word guys what is rna word i'm waiting for your response do let me know in the chat section all of you we have to finish it in 40 minutes so rna word the question is rna word many students are saying ribo nucleic acid that is the full form of rna but here i'm asking about the rna word what is this rna word kids the story is you know during the evolution many things they came on this planet earth like initially the reducing kind of atmosphere was there then it became oxidizing this is what we know already right so initially some scientists they believe that protein came first some scientists they believe that rna came first so when you talk about the rna right rna word so here in rna word we consider it is the rna that came first you know that rna is still a genetic material in the case of retroviruses or you can say that in the case of some viruses right in the case of some viruses we used to call that viruses as retroviruses the rna is the genetic material and even even amritha even this rna right you know that rna can also act like an enzyme right it also acts as an enzyme and we use the word ribozyme for that so initially it was believed that it was the rna that came first on this planet earth and because it can act like the enzyme as well it is the first genetic material and then dna involved right right so they do not consider that protein came first as per this rna word concept it is the rna that came first on this planet earth this is the point now from this rna with the time with the time with the time when it comes to the evolution we talk about the changes right the changes that are going to take us towards the betterment right for the survival whatever changes whatever gradual changes we acquire with the time they will get accumulated accumulated and it results in the evolution it results in the formation of it results in the formation of new new species this is what we know basics right it's a very basic topic isn't it isn't it so it is believed that from rna with the time dna evolved right right because rna was 
reactive. In comparison to that, DNA is less reactive. RNA single stranded, obviously unstable it was when we compare it with the DNA. So, many things are there, right? Many, many, many things are there. Are you getting my point? Are you getting my point? So, firstly, let us talk about the structure of DNA, the basic structure. I am not going to tell you that Francis and Crick model and all. No, we are going to start from the basics, right? The name of the series, clear the basics. So, we are going to start from the basics. So, any doubt up to this part? Any doubt up to this part? So, here you guys can see this helically coiled DNA, right? Bache, your right handed DNA. Look at this bonding. So, today we are going to understand this bonding. So, are you people excited for it? Right? Are you people excited for it? Guys, speed up. Are you guys? Exactly, answer fast. Or I can say that answer very fast. Okay, so this is what you people need to tell. This is what you people need to learn today. Okay, okay, so here you guys can see, just look at this cell, it is a eukaryotic cell. Here we have the nucleus, here you can see the transcription is going on, right? Then RNA will come in the cytoplasm here, you know that this is basically nucleolus, this is nucleus. Here you can see transcription is going on, the RNA will form, that RNA will come in the cytoplasm, protein synthesis is there, so you can see everything is related. This DNA is having the information, so this is what we need to understand today. So, how are we going to start kids? We are are going to start with the nitrogenous basis okay okay so you can just take a note of it because it is important so when it comes to a dna it's a poly nucleotide chain what is it it's a poly nucleotide chain right many nucleotides they will polymerize and they are going to form the they are going to form the dna many nucleotides they will polymerize right they will join all together they will form the dna this is what we know Okay. So, for understanding the DNA, you should know what exactly is the nucleotide. You should know what exactly is the nucleotide. So, to understand nucleotide, we need to understand three things. We need to understand what is the nitrogenous base. We need to understand about the sugars. Okay. And then the phosphate. Right. And then the phosphate. So, this is what you people need to know when it comes to the nucleotide. Okay, when it comes to the nucleotide, right? These are the three things that you people need to know. So, we are going to start first with the nitrogenous basis. Okay, see, first word is clear nitrogenous basis. So, nitrogen is going to be there. Nitrogenous basis. So, obviously, nitrogen is going to be there, right? They contain nitrogen, isn't it? They contain nitrogen, isn't it? Isn't it? So, when you talk about these nitrogenous base, what you people are going to get? You people will get two things. One is purines, another is pyrimidines. One is purine, another is pyrimidine. Right? One is purine, another is pyrimidine. So, everyone just type it in the chat section, all of you. Just type it in the chat section, all of you. The one is purine, another is pyrimidine. Right? Right? Done? Done? One is purine, another is pyrimidine. So, all of you type these two words in the in the chat section and yes, you have to make the notes as well because the topic is interesting and easy. Okay, the topic is interesting and easy. So, nitrogenous base, even I will share the PDF with you all. Right? Yesterday, I forgot to share it but today I will for sure. So, we have the purines and we have the pyrimidines kids. We have the purines, we have the pyrimidines. So, when it comes to the purines, this is the trick that you people need to remember and the trick is puga. Right? This is the trick that you people need to remember that is puga. When it comes to pyrimidine, the trick is going to be cut. The trick is going to be cut. Purines, puga, pyrimidine, cut. Type it in the chat section right now. Purines, puga, pyrimidine, cut. Purines, puga, pyrimidine, cut. This is what you people need to remember. Now, ma'am, what is this puga? What is this puga? G A. G A is the word here. So, bache, you used to get question from this particular part as well. So, G stands for guanine, A stands for adenine. 
G stands for guanin, A stands for adenine. G stands for guanin, A stands for G A stands for adenine. So guanin nine is the word here. Adenine nine is the word here. So from this nine and nine, you can keep it in your head that it is the nine membered ring. That it is the nine membered ring. Is that clear? Is that clear? Right. So now what is the meaning of this cut? So C stands for cytosine. U stands for uracil. T stands for thymine. Right. T stands for thymine. So cytosine, uracil, thymine. Cytosine, uracil, thymine. So here we have the purines. Here we have the pyrimidines. Here we have the purine. Here we have the pyrimidine. Sachin, I am already taking YouTube class, Mera Bacha. There is no need to do like that. I am already teaching you here. So please focus here, Bacha. So initially, let's, let's revise the things from the basics. Then obviously, we will start the complex topics. Because you know, you want to understand the biomolecules, this part is important. You want to understand the DNA, molecular basis of inheritance, this part is important. So let's focus now. Let's focus. And what about the likes? The number of likes are quite less. Just like the video now. Quick, do it, like the video now. Okay, so this is what you need to remember. So if purines are nine membered rings, so of course the pyrimidine here is going to be the six membered ring. Right, it is going to be the six membered ring. Done? It is going to be the six membered ring. This is what you need to remember. Now, another thing. Another question that I'm mentioning here. Obviously, some structures we are discussing right now. So at position 1 3 7 9 you will get nitrogen right see purines pyrimidines what are they nitrogenous bases in the case of purines the trick is puga in the case of pyrimidines the trick is cut now when you talk about the puga guanin and adenine from this 9 and 9 you guys can remember it's a 9 membered ring it's a 9 membered ring so in this 9 membered ring at 4 position in this 9 membered ring at 4 position the nitrogen is pre present and, and it is at position 1 3 7 9 one three seven nine. Type it in the chat section. One three seven nine. Now, when you talk about the pyrimidine, it's a six-membered ring, which What is it? It's a six-membered ring. Okay. So at position one and three, you will get the nitrogen. At position one and three you will get the nitrogen. So, this is about the nitrogenous basis first. F firstly, tell me, are you able to remember it? Yes or no? Are you able to remember it? All of you, are you guys able to remember it? Sure? Sure? Are you people sure? Okay, it's 1, 3, 7, 9, it's 1 and 3. Done, bache? Done. So, now, I'm just telling you about the. So, here you guys can see. See, purines, 9 member it is. Pyrimidines, 6 member it is. Right. So, now, just have a look of this particular structure. Guanin, adenine. Right. So, as I said, at 1, at 3, at 7, at 9, you will be having the nitrogen at four positions, right? At four positions, you people will have nitrogen in the ring. I'm not talking about outside the ring, in the ring. Now, let's talk about the, these pyramidines. One, two, right? One and three. One, two, one, two, right? One and clear, Bache? Is that clear? Is that clear? Now, the next point that we need to understand. Now, kids, when you talk about the genetic material DNA. So, in the DNA, the purines are going to be adenine and guanine. We denote it with the first alphabet. Like here, we are mentioning the guanine denoted by G. Adenine denoted by A. Your cytosine denoted by C. Uracil denoted by U. Thymine denoted by T. This is how we are going to denote it. So, here you people can see when we are using the word purines, adenine and guanine it is. And when we are talking about the pyrimidines, then in the DNA it is going to be C and T. It is going to be 
cytosin and thymine now when you talk about the rna right again purines are same right but purines are same adenine and guanine and when you people talk about the pyrimidines so it is going to be because it is rna so here the cytosine and uracil will be there the cytosine and uracil will be there so dna is having thymine Cyt RNA is having uracil, DNA is having thymine, RNA is having uracil. This is a major difference and it puts a question mark over the RNA stability. Uracil is quite reactive as well, right. So, instead of that, right, when evolution is, when evolution was going on, so obviously at the place of uracil, thymine came, okay, thymine came and even when you talk about the thymine, we even used to call it as 5 methyl uracil right this is what you people can include in your notes you can even call it as 5 methyl uracil means it is just like the uracil it's just that that at fifth carbon the methyl group is attached that is the only difference like if you compare these two structure if you people compare these two structures, just have a look guys, everything is same, but at fifth position, in the case of thymine, you people will find this methyl group and here the hydrogen will be there. So, this is the only difference. So, we can also say that thymine is the 5 methyl uracil. Thymine is the 5 methyl uracil. Is that okay? Is that okay all of you? Is that okay? So, are you able to remember it? Are you able to remember it? If it is a yes, then let me know in the chart section. Okay, let me know in the chart section. And again, let's talk about the namings. So, here you people can see again 1, 3, pyrimidine. Here, 1, 3, 7 and 9. Done. 1, 3, 7 and 9. Done. So, any doubt here kids? Any doubt here? So, you know about the structure of uracil now, you know about the structure of thymine, one is the cytosine and here guanine and adenine. Any doubt? Guys, I am very energetic and same thing I expect from my students, right? Right? So, quick, 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 revert. Quick, revert. Revert. Done? Done? 1, 3, 7, 9 and 3. So, this is about the nitrogenous base. This is about the nitrogenous base. But che, what type of noise is there? Is it that disturbing? Just allow me a minute. Now, is that okay? Is that fine? Is that okay? Is that fine? Yeah, I think now it is. And guys, just have a look of this Avengers badge. I am telling you again and again. Be the part of this batch. You are going to love it. You are going to love it the way we are going to teach. Our team is amazing. It is simply outstanding. Right? The chemistry duo, your Vazim sir, your HSP sir, they are one of the best teachers ever you people can get. Your Shreya sir is there. Right? So, please be the part of this batch ASAP because uh, whenever we will get that 600 seats now after that again you won't get that 20 percent discount. So, it is a request be the part of this batch as soon as possible because we are too eager to start the classes. We are too eager to uh, meet our aspirants right because here we are too serious because this time now we want ranks. We want ranks ok. So, now let us go ahead. So, we are done with the purine and pyrimidine part. So, the, now the next thing that you people need to understand is nucleoside, right? These are the things that you people need to understand. What do you need to understand? Now, you need to understand the second word and that is nucleoside, nucleoside, nucleoside. See, it is not important to remember the structure, but the structure is given in your NCRT. Today, I have a surprise for you. I have a surprise for you. Even in your class 11th or 12th chemistry, 12th chemistry biomolecule chapter is there na. So, in that chapter also the structures are given. So, you know that this is a common topic. So, we should understand it. I am not saying remember that topic as such, right. Remember that topic as such. I am not saying that. But yes, all I can say is that in case of structures, there are tricks that I will tell you in our batch. But now focus here. So, it is nucleoside. N stands for nitrogenous base n stands for nitrogenous base and here s stands for sugar sugar you know that what is a sugar sugar is a 
carbohydrate sugar is a carbohydrate right what is it it's a carbohydrate this is the first word now just look at it we have the nitrogenous base and sugar it is the nucleoside so nitrogenous base plus sugar together it will make nucleoside nitrogenous base plus sugar together it is going to make nucleoside this is what you people need to write what is there nitrogenous base plus sugar nitrogenous base plus sugar so in this word trick is hidden nucleoside 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 n stands for nitrogenous base s stands for sugar so now tell me how can we join them together how can we join them together obviously bonding is required isn't it bonding is required right let's say here i have the pyrimidine ring let's say just assume here i have the pyrimidine ring okay so you know that that at position 1 and at position 3 because this is 1 this is 3 right so this nitrogen nitrogen which is at present at 1 it will form bond with the sugar it is going to form bond with the sugar how will they join this is what you need to understand it's a game changer thing important for chemistry important for biology so this is the nitrogenous base the nitrogen present at first position will form the bond with the sugar and this bond is known as yes kids this bond is known as n glycosidic bond it is known as n glycosidic bond what is it it is n glycosidic why are we considering the word n because nitrogen is involved right so nitrogen from this nitrogenous base carbon from this sugar okay carbon from this sugar so can i ask you one question when we talk about the nucleoside it is made up of what it is made up of nucleo nitrogenous base plus sugar which bond is going to present in these two n glycosidic linkage n glycosidic bond so this is the important thing that you need to understand is that clear now what's next ma'am what is this sugar please tell us something about the sugar you must be thinking that so see when it is dna when it is dna the sugar is going to be deoxyribose sugar when it is rna the sugar is going to be ribose sugar when it is dna the sugar is going to be deoxyribose sugar when it is rna the sugar is going to be ribose sugar the sugar is going to be ribose sugar so kids the only difference is the word is ribose the word is deoxy deoxy means it is a ribose without oxygen this is how you have to remember it is the ribose without oxygen it is the ribose without oxygen is that clear now just have a look of the structure okay this is a homework for you tell me this screenshot is from which book right the snip is basically from which book this is what you need to tell me right now tell me tell me tell me tell me quick quick tell me this screenshot is from your class 12 chemistry the structures are given there na so i thought i should pick that up i thought i should pick that up so here you guys can see okay this is what you need to remember many times majority of students they make the mistake are ma'am in adenine we have six nitrogens are we are talking about the nitrogen present in the structure in the ring so it is 1379 right and when it is the ha huh, pyrimidine One and three. That's what you people need to remember. It's simple. And moreover, bache, just have a look of this purine, right? These are the purines, na? Have a look of these purines. In the purine, if you focus, right? This part is a pyrimidine ring. So to this pyrimidine ring, this heterocyclic ring is attached, right? To this pyrimidine ring, this another ring is attached. If I'm not wrong, it is imidazole, isn't it? it is imidazole so you guys can say ki purine is pyrimidine plus imidazole okay okay so this is about the purines now we are talking about the sugars so again see nucleoside nucleotide given in ncert so we have to cover it okay so we are going to talk about the sugar so have a look of this first of all bachche these whenever you talk about ribose 
वेन एवर यू टॉक अबाउट राई वोज फर्स्टली यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड द राई वोज राइट सो राई वोज इज अ पेंटोज राइवोज इज अ पेंटोज वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पेंटोज कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्ड पेंट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्ड पेंट 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 मीन्स फाइव फाइव कार्बन आर प्रेजेंट सो राइवोज इज अ शुगर इट्स अ कार्बोहाइड्रेट हैविंग फाइव कार्बन इट्स अ कार्बोहाइड्रेट हैविंग फाइव कार्बन इट इज एन एल्डोज right functional group is aldehyde here so it is an aldol having five carbons so now just look at this ring you will be like ma'am five carbons but here we are having oxygen so again basics we should know so here this ring is basically furanose right it is a furanose what we used to call it furanose i'm assuming that you know that much you know na glucose we used to draw glucose like this this ring is pyranose right this ring is pyranose but here when you look at it it is furanose furanose so in this ring right in this ring you can see here this is the oxygen this is the oxygen one oxygen and in the ring four carbon are present one oxygen and four carbon and are present uh, and fifth carbon is here okay fifth carbon is here so here oh h h oh h oh and ch2 oh and h so now just look at the ribose structure right right now just look at the ribose structure and now just look at the deoxy ribose structure so deoxy means bachche as i said without oxygen so at which position the oxygen should be absent at second position of this ring here here this is what you need to remember and it's a direct mcq right it's a direct mcq what is it it's a direct mcq right mamta it's a direct mcq so you guys can see here at 2 dash right at 2 dash what is absent at 2 dash oxygen is absent right here only h and h is there rest the structure is similar so any doubt any doubt up to this part all clear it's a repeated mcq that we should know Ma'am, my eleventh is wasted. So can I watch? Obviously, Mamta, most welcome. Is that clear, Bache? Is that clear? Now, what I just said that we need to make the nucleoside. We need to make the nucleoside. So here, you people can see, right? As I said, nitrogenous base plus sugar. The bonding and glycosidic. So these type of short notes you people need to make. So just join it and have a look here. Join it. Have a look here. So this is a pyrimidine, bache. This is the first nitrogen, right? And here, ah, uh, sorry. This is the sugar, basically, right? This is the sugar. So the first carbon, and when it is a nitrogenous base, is your purine, right? So its ninth nitrogen is involved. One nine, right? This is the glycosidic bond. Is that clear? Is that clear? So this is what nucleoside, right? This is the nucleoside, right, bache? This is the nucleo. side is that clear any doubt any doubt deoxy means without oxygen at two dash end at second position only this is what you need to remember okay only this is what you people need to remember right so as i said nitrogenous base plus sugar how are they joined they are joined with the n glycosidic bond why are we saying it as n glycosidic bond because nitrogenous nitrogen from the nitrogenous base and carbon from the sugar will be taken for making the bond so when it is the pyrimidine right when it is the pyrimidine so it is going to be 1 1 1 1 n glycosidic bond means nitrogen at first position sorry uh, carbon at first position in the case of sugar and nitrogen at first nitrogen first nitrogen and when it is purine it's 1 and 9 right 1 and 9 means carbon which is present at first position of sugar and nitrogen which is present at ninth position in the ring so that is how it is going to make the bond so if you can remember it very good if you cannot it's okay it's fine right it's okay it's fine but this is what you need to remember now one more question so can i not say that that when it comes to the rna you guys are going to have adenine plus you people will have ribose sugar together they will form nucleoside when it is guanine right when it is guanine plus ribose 
right then obviously together it is making the together it is making the nucleoside now let's talk about the dna in the case of dna adenine plus the sugar is going to be deoxyribose right and when it is guanine so obviously guanine plus deoxyribose deoxyribose are you getting my point are you getting my point done bache done bache so when adenine plus ribose they are linked so what will be the nomenclature it is adenosine when guanine plus ribose it is it is guanosine right right so this is your homework you will tell me right the what is going to form when uracil will join with ribose and cytosine will join with ribose so nomenclature is important right i know there is too much to remember today but you are the neat aspirant so do mention the homework in the comment section do bache ashwath the surprise is the ncert screenshot do not focus on the word surprise focus on the content here i think that is more important ashwath right that is more important right ma'am it is difficult to understand it is not difficult to understand it is easy that is why i started with the basics so what you have to do after my class you have to again check the session right guys you want to qualify the neat exam isn't it so for that obviously we need to study that much and even it is easy i'm making it easy i'm telling you the tricks okay very good prem but cytosine is not right okay so start studying mera bachcha properly so that's your homework now when it is aden adenosine plus deoxyribose so obviously it is deoxyadenosine deoxyadenosine here it is deoxyguanosine okay so by just looking at this one is guanosine one is guanosine right another is one is guanosine another is deoxyguanosine one is guanosine another is deoxyguanosine so by looking at it you should judge that here you are talking about guanine plus ribose means rna here you are talking about guanine plus deoxyribose is that clear kids so if it is a yes do let me know in the comment section do let me know in the comment section all of you yes do let me know in the comments comment section okay is that clear right so any doubt here in that nucleoside part are you sure any doubt here in that nucleoside part that's why bachche the session here is the session here is dna basics because first of all you should know about the nitrogenous base you should know about the sugars you should know about the phosphate right so what is the next word that we have it is nucleotide it is nucleotide right so we are done with nitrogenous base we are done with nucleoside now it's the time for tide t so how do i remember i remember it with a very simple trick t means 3 t means 3 3 things are attached t means 3 3 things are attached means your nitrogenous base sugar and one more thing is there and what is that thing that thing is your phosphate remember phosphate remember phosphoric acid it is not phosphorus it is phosphoric acid i remember it from hsp sir's explanation right right furanos is the shape of that ring bachche okay okay furan furanos one oxygen four carbons are there that ring basically the glucose that you draw that is pyranos so nucleotide t means 3 t means 3 t means 3 three things are there nitrogenous base plus sugar plus phosphate nitrogenous base plus sugar plus phosphate nitrogenous base plus sugar plus phosphate is that clear is that clear now kids see already you know they are connected and we used to call it as nucleoside when nitrogenous base plus sugar they join we used to call it as nucleoside now one phosphate is added so cannot can we not say that it is nucleoside monophosphate hai na can we not say that it is nucleoside monophosphate nucleoside monophosphate and when it comes to the bonding already here right n glycosidic bond is there but when it is the sugar and phosphate then your bond is going to be phosphoester bond then your bond is going to be phosphoester bond right what is the bond phosphoester so now in simple words if i ask you the nucleotide so which bonds are there one is your 
n glycosidic bond one is what it is your n glycosidic bond and another is your phosphoester bond do not use the word diester as of now it is phosphoester bond it is phosphoester bond it is phosphoester bond done bachche repeat it repeat it in the chat section all of you which bonds are present in a single nucleotide which bonds are present in a single nucleotide it is going to be your n glycosidic bond your phosphoester bond your n glycosidic bond your phosphoester bond total three things are there nitrogenous base sugar plus phosphate nitrogenous base sugar plus phosphate so it is nucleoside monophosphate nucleoside monophosphate so now one more question now if it is adenosine you know that we are talking about the nucleoside now you have added one phosphate so can we not say that adenosine monophosphate obviously we can so it will be amp adenosine monophosphate so in your dna this will be present we will discuss that right same way guanosine monophosphate right guanosine monophosphate so that is how nomenclature is going to change i'll ask few questions from previous year paper as well okay that is how the nomenclature will change okay kids okay kids so adenosine monophosphate another name is adenylic acid guanosine monophosphate another name is yes another name is guanylic acid of course of course so you guys can you guys can name it in that way so when you are talking about adenosine monophosphate you can also call it as adenylic acid when you are talking about guanosine monophosphate you can also call it as guanylic acid guanylic acid so that is how the nomenclature change so i'll ask one pyq okay i'll ask one question from previous year paper okay so in the previous year paper they have given these three names adenin adenosine adenylic acid what is the difference in these three or they can simply ask you out of that which one is nitrogenous base which one is your nucleoside which one is your nucleotide tell me tell me what are you going to do what are you going to do yes what are you going to do ashwa that is your homework you need to check it yes so of course adenine here is the nitrogenous base adenosine here is the nucleoside right and adenylic here is the nucleotide that is how you need to remember right it is the nucleotide so this is how the nomenclature change right that is how the nomenclature change so you need to prepare your notes in which you will write the name of nitrogenous bases nucleoside and nucleotide so these are the three things that you need to know and now just have a look of that phosphoester bond right let's discuss that phosphoester bond and then we will go ahead so here you guys can see so sugar is sweet this is my trick sugar is sweet so even even your phosphate which is made up of phosphoric acid right phosphate isn't it it is like that na phosphate so sugar is sweet so even your nitrogenous base even your phosphate both both of them they wants to join with the sugar both of them they want to join with the sugar okay okay sugar so sugar is sweet that is how you all can remember sugar is sweet so two sugar phosphate will join and even the nitrogenous base will join to the to this sugar even the phosphate will join even the nitrogenous base will join even the phosphate will join even the nitrogenous base will join okay bachche okay so which bond is going to be here phosphoester bond right which bond is going to be here n glycosidic bond so any doubt any doubt tell me so you can just see the bonding fifth carbon fifth carbon here right fifth carbon here that is ch2oh so here this oh is forming the bond with that phosphate group okay okay it is going to form bond with that 
ok done oh oh it is not done clear sure done so yes it is p o 4 3 negative na yes it is 3 negative if i am not wrong so here you know that 1 1 o will be involved in the bonding here so that is how it works so it is phosphoester bond clear it is the phosphoester bond done bache so now as i said now just have a look from your ncrt from your chemistry ncrt so it is a ribose sugar you can just look at the diagram and you can see it is a ribose sugar why because at 2 dash right one is h another is oh so if it needs to be deoxyribose so o, o will be eliminated from this part so see base is attached so same kind of question was there in your previous year paper in your biology done bachi and here you people can see again nucleotide this is the base here this is the phosphate yes i was right po4 3 negative right phosphoric acid is going to make that i remember it from hsp sir's explanation so you can see this this is the bond so ch2oh involved in the bonding here okay okay done any doubt 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 guys doubt clear okay so now now the major thing that you need to understand again your chemistry again your chemistry now here even in the chemistry the formation of dinucleotide is given now but we have to understand it in a different way as i said when it comes to the dna the dna is a polynucleotide chain this is what i have mentioned to you DNA is what? DNA is a polynucleotide chain. What is it? It is a polynucleotide chain. So, polynucleotide means many nucleotides are going to be there. Many nucleotides are going to be there. Let me write it because we know the DNA is a double helical structure. What is it? It is a double helical structure. What is it? It is a double helical structure structure and secondly bache, the most common type of dna is right handed it is your b dna right and even your dna is anti parallel what is it it is anti parallel one strand is having polarity 5 prime to 3 prime another strand is having polarity 5 prime to 3 prime so they both are in opposite direction we'll tell you the reason for that of course but here let's talk about this polynucleotide chain part so now you know nitrogenous base is going to be there the sugar and here you have the phosphate now this is one nucleotide let's write it in the same way nitrogenous base sugar phosphate right nitrogenous base sugar phosphate so always remember it in bache, this way right always remember it in this way sugar is sweet even the nitrogenous base uh, wants to bind with it even the phosphate now what's the part here next part see okay so now this phosphate here right this phosphate here or you can see it from the upper side this phosphate is free now this is the sugar this is the sugar this sugar the 3 dash carbon of sugar will form the bond with uh, the 3 dash carbon the carbon which is present at third position the OH group of that carbon will form the bond with next phosphate actually this is how it works right listen to me very carefully I am going to clarify one doubt now I am saying that when it comes to the DNA DNA is a polynucleotide chain this is what I have mentioned that it is the DNA which is a polynucleotide chain it is the DNA which is a polynucleotide chain. So, now when you look at the DNA, in the DNA there will be phosphor diester bond. Already this phosphate is forming ester bond with the sugar and here also you will see the same sugar is forming the ester bond with the next phosphate. So, that is why we use the word phospho diester right phospho diester when you when we talk about the nucleotide chain okay so when it is the nucleotide chain when it is the nucleotide chain the bond is going to be phosphodiester the bond is going to be phosphodiester right phosphodiester clear clear so here you guys can see this is the 5 dash end why are we calling it as 5 dash end because here to the fifth carbon of sugar that phosphate is attached so 5 prime 
5 prime end is free now here the oh group present here will form the bond with next phosphate okay my bad again here again here this sugar will form the bond with the next phosphate so you guys can see in the dna this is the reason why do we say that sugar phosphate backbone is there right Th that is why we used to say that there is a sugar phosphate backbone there is a sugar phosphate backbone so are you getting my point are you getting my point okay okay so that is why it is the sugar phosphate backbone okay so this is the, about the chemical structure of dna kits right this is all about the chemical structure of dna you can see here the phosphodiester linkage see this is the sugar 3 dash end here is having the oh group this oh group is this oh group is involved in the formation of the bond right this oh group is involved in the formation of the bond so you guys can say the sugar is forming the bond with this phosphate the same phosphate is attached to the next sugar i hope i have made it like this uh oh ha huh. This sugar is attached to this phosphate. This phosphate is forming the bond with this sugar. This sugar is attached to phosphate. Phosphate is forming the bond with the sugar. So it is phosphodiester bond. It is phosphodiester bond. So here you people can see, right? That is why we say three dash five phosphodiester bond because three dash is having this OH which will form bond with the phosphate present at the five dash end of the next sugar. Okay. So do you have any doubt here? See guys. If you people after the session do check out this session once again, right? You can even increase the speed at 1.5x, even at 1.75x. You should revise this topic, right? You people should revise this topic. This topic is important. It is important for your basics, it, right? Right? So, see here the phosphate that is how it is attached, okay? Okay, so that is your nucleotide. So, I hope all your doubts are clear here. So, even here I have added this thing for you, deoxyadenosine, deoxyguanosine, uh, thymidine and cytidine is there and you can see the bonding around. Okay, you can see the bonding around and see the next part here, this, this bonding, right? Just have a look. So, we know that our DNA is double helical. Our DNA is double helical. So, here we follow the Chargaff's rule right which used to say that adenine is going to form two hydrogen bond with thymine cytosine is going to form three hydrogen bond with guanine so that we will discuss in some another lecture because we you know that after four to five minutes even hsp sir is going to take the class so that is why okay so today we will revise that much only done bachche? done so here you people can see the most right the most important thing that you should know is your this batch avengers batch right see you know we have started the channel i think 20 days back or 20 to 25 days back and you have seen those who attended our marathon sessions right the students that 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 stay connected with us now you know they they boosted their score okay so now just imagine if we are going to guide you for the six months for the one year because i'm getting this query again and again many students are asking me the same things ma'am ma'am you people are going to finish the syllabus in six months so what after that after that there will be the revision classes there will be the mock test right there will be the mock test as per as per your convenience we are going to take the classes let's say if you have if you are like ma'am we want the revision of a particular topic i am going to take that we are going to take that so yes, it is it is a very, very, very important batch and it is going to be the best batch because this time we all teachers, we all are so focused that we want rag. And literally we want students, you know, we want serious neat aspirants. We want serious neat aspirants. Okay. Okay. So you guys can see here this Avenger batch. You want to join it. You should join it. You can say that it is that will be your best decision for the neat preparation because the price here is very less and the team you know how strong it is right how strong it is so initial 600 students will get 20 percent discount when you apply the coupon code avenger so use this coupon code avenger and be the part of our classes be the part of our classes okay so mock test revision content everything will be provided and this fees is not just for one month it is for the entire year right till neat exam you people are going to get the benefits are you getting my point so be the part of this batch join this batch as soon as possible because we are going to start the classes from 18th of may and i think there should be no delay because that mo your motivation should be that i am going to i am going to start my preparation from day one so this should be your motivation 
okay this should be your motivation so i'll provide you the pdf in the telegram group so after my class of course your hsp sir is going to take the session he is eagerly waiting outside for your class okay so i'll share the pdf in the telegram group done already enrolled very good soon we will meet in the sessions any other doubt you people are having sure so take care stay blessed do like do share do comment do hit the subscribe button and do let us know in the comment section how was the session and you have to 